special vehicles operation. Well, Michelle, thank you very much first for having us here in this fabulous trip. We've been here uh, with Jaguar Land Rover for the past three days. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to thank you for that. Uh, I, I, I understand that this was a, an event more like focus on the Jaguar F-Type, <laughs> but I think the uh, Range Rover Sport SRV stole the show. I mean, it's a fantastic Good. car. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. Thank you. So, um, can you talk about what's the special vehicle operations in Land Rover, please? So Special Vehicle Operations is basically a division that focuses on, on looking at um, the specialist products that we can do over and above the, uh, the fantastic vehicles that are already there. So it's building on to the, um, the, uh, the core products. So effectively we'd look at doing an SVR um, as a performance halo effectively if you want to look at it that way. Yeah. Um, you'd look at an SV autobiography is something that we're looking at from a luxury point of view and then an SVX is something that we're looking at from an all-terrain um, yeah. perspective as well. So that's what we focus on delivering those extra elements. And your first project I understand was actual Project 7, right? And which is a, a car, fabulous car that I debuted, what, like two, three years ago at the Pebble Beach? So or? I think there was a concept car concept a couple of car, years yeah. ago, yep. Yeah. And then and then last year we unveiled Project 7 at, at Goodwood um, with the launch of special vehicle operations as well. And that car is, I mean, it's very limited production it's car, right? It's 250 units, yep, yeah, completely. We'll not build any more, just the 250. Um, all, they've all been sold. Uh, as yet, you know, we're looking at delivery later on this year yeah okay so let's talk about the, the Range Rover SRV um, already was a very popular the regular version is like I mean, it was like I think in the US at least it was back order for like a year when it came out like two years ago right yeah so this one I mean this this gives like much more to the public what what is the special in this car the, as the special aspect um, on Range Rover Sport um, you know it, it gives the customer that complete breadth of capability and then by putting an SVR onto a Range Rover Sport we've just added that extra performance aspect so it really is an on-road vehicle with dynamic performance that suits you know most styles of driving. Yeah so what's uh, what's the engine what can you talk about the specs so the about engine, it? The engine is a 550 V8 supercharged um, based off the um, existing Range Rover Sport, which is the 510. So we've just pushed the engine up, um, done that in various aspects, not fundamentally changed the engine. We've also improved the aerodynamics to ensure that actually you've got you know, more road hold and um, less understeer. We've also looked at um, in, um, elements in terms of the cooling, because obviously you needed to improve brake performance, so we've yeah. made sure that actually we've got some significant cooling ducts in there. Um, we've also taken weight out as well, so the car actually is um, lighter than the Range Rover Sport. That obviously helps the performance aspects. So, and and as you can, you know, for anybody that's heard one, there is the active exhaust as well. So, you know, Very it's quite point, a distinctive yeah. sound. Yeah. So speaking of the weight, because I mean, it's a, it's a, a big and a heavy vehicle. Where yeah. where were the the elements that were like lightened? Um, overall, really, we've, we've sort of tried to, you know, with any weight distribution, you need to be careful as to where you would take the weight out and to yeah. make sure you don't hinder any of the performance. So, so we've looked at it across the whole of the vehicle and, um, and just been clever in terms of taking bits and pieces here and there. I think total is um, 80 kilograms. I'm sorry, I don't 85. know. What 85, I don't know what that is in pounds. Like 100, 200. Like close okay. to 200 pounds. Right, okay, yeah, and then if you, if you, well, that's if you despec a pano roof. So yeah. with the panoramic roof, it's only actually reduced by about 40, 45, so, but still enough that you get, get the extra benefits. Yeah, so the driving aspect of it, it was fantastic. We, we went uh, through an off-road, not very extreme. I mean, mm. like, I'm sure it's capable of much more than we did yeah. yesterday. But it's a fantastic example of what these cars can do. I mean, we went through off-road and then like they pressure-wise a little bit and then yeah. like up to the road. Yeah. Fantastic car. I mean, like it talks about like the, the two aspects of the car, right? It hasn't compromised any of the off-road at all, the off-road capability. It's true to what a, a Range Rover Sport should do, you know, and that's really important to maintain that. So, you know, we didn't want to compromise that to, to try and support the performance. And I think it's really good that actually that hasn't and the feedback has been really supportive. Yeah. Uh, the only thing is that uh, like the interior is so luxur luxurious that mm -hmm. when you go abroading and then uh, you get your shoes dirty a little bit and you get in, you feel a little bit guilty because the interior is another fantastic aspect of this car. Yeah, 
Yeah, the interior definitely, you've got some um, lightweight sports seats, so it gives you quite a distinctive style and a distinctive look to the vehicle, which is over and above the Range Rover, existing Range Rover Sport. Um, but you're right, they're, they're, you know, it's a Range Rover, so you have to have that luxurious element in there. So these are special vehicle operations, it's a, a continuum. I mean, you have like price coming up, like and maybe you cannot talk about it, but like there's going to be more models, more variants. There definitely will be. I mean, obviously, Project Seven we've um, we've, we've launched and we've now launched um, Range Rover Sport SVR at the New York show. Actually, we launched Range Rover SV Autobiography, which again is a is a stunning car, very different um, yeah. than the SVR, but really, really. You know, it gives the customers very much a premium. And yeah, we can definitely say we're looking at doing future SVRs. Um, as yet, nothing is, is decided or confirmed, but that's something that, you know, we will only do them if it is appropriate and the, the DNA is true. You know, we're not going to do them on every single model. Yeah. You know, it needs to be the right proposition. And um, where do you get your ideas? I guess like a lot of feedback from your current customers. Yeah, how do you, listen how to does the customers. Really, a lot of the customers, you know, are really passionate about the um, the brands, and they give us lots of feedback and lots of support. And it's really looking at what are the opportunities that they want from us to put into the vehicles. You know, so there's that. There's also, you know, we look at um, obviously you do your competitor analysis as well. You know, it's it's all aspects really. We'd look at as much as possible to make sure it was the right product. And are these cars uh, limited edition vehicles? I mean, like the production is kind of low compared to the. So the production ones? on Range Rover Sport SVR is lower volume um, than the standard Range Rover Sport, um, but it is per annum. There isn't a, a limited number. You know, it is just a lower volume. It's a derivative, so you wouldn't necessarily have the higher volumes before. Okay. Um, but we will do limited editions, as is um, Project Seven. So it's a, there are a variety of different things that we're looking at doing. Well. Well, thank you very much for your time. We really enjoy uh, uh, driving the car, also the F-Type, uh, with uh, the new transmission and uh, all-wheel drive systems and all that. So thank you very much for, yes. uh, for, for having us here. Okay, thank you very, thank much. You very much. Thank you very much. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.